It is time for a premium Super Six Sack unboxing and another little goodie here. Let's get into it, wasting no time. There's something in here I need. So let's jump right into it. Get the old bottle butcher. Love that knife. Dustin Royal introduced me that on his channel one time. It's like a little miniature razor blade. Comes with its own sheath and you're good to go. Let's get into it. This is something a little different from uh, a monthly subscription. Six Sense has changed it up a little bit. Doing away with the premium Super Six sack and the custom sacks that you could build. I'm sure they'll have some other specials come along, but this is a big deal because the premium Super Six sack has changed. The premium Super Six sack is now Six Cents sack monthly subscription. So Six Sack, that's it. And what they've done is changed it up big time. What they're gonna do is all their monthly loyal subscribers we're gonna get exclusive bait drops. Like they'll bait drop them to the super six sack loyal every there a month customer and new colors, premium quality baits, no filler baits like you get with some of those other subscriptions, stuff that's on the shelf, not selling, warehouse bulks, bringing them all in putting them in everybody's boxes and then everybody just throws it on the shelf. No, you're gonna get premium baits that you're gonna use every day, every weekend on the lake. And when Six Sense comes out with a new bait or new color, new lure, Super Six Sack, which is not Super Six Sack anymore. It's the Six Sack, the one and only Six Sack. That's it. And if you already had a premium Super Six Sack subscription, no worries, it converts over. If you had anything else, you need to go in, but there's very, they're gonna limit the space. That way they know what they need every month. And with these quality baits and new drops, they'll have enough for all their subscribers. And then I'm sure when you know another order comes in and they get stocked up again, then you'll eventually be able to get it. But right now, all the new stuff's gonna drop in the six sack. So let's get into it. And I, I don't know if I wanna get the, I, I'll have to do a spoiler alert. I've already watched, I've already watched JR, Justin Royal, open his and I saw that new bait in there and I said, oh, I gotta have it. I gotta have it this weekend. So I gotta do my unboxing now. So let's jump into it for my subscribers that may have not have seen it yet. Uh, in the first bait coming out, is the Movement 80 in the, ah, guess what color? I don't even have to look, it's the Thrift in Chad. Whose favorite color is that? My favorite color. Uh, and, and Thrift in Chad down here in South Georgia, most of the lakes are stocked full of them, that and brim. So that's our biggest, biggest colors down here. So, and most everywhere. This is the Movement 80. Let's see if I can get it out, show it to you in the good old Thread fin shad. I mean, that color is hard to beat. I've proven it to catch fish and quality fish. And the movement 80, it, it dives like to one to three feet. It has a real longer tail than some of your skinny, narrower body and longer tail. So it gives you a good side to side movement. Shallow runner, real good, busting in and out of cover. It's ready to go out of the box with these super sharp black nickel hooks. You don't have to change anything out. It's good to go. Love it. Look at that. Look at that. 3D gills right there. <laughs> and that is, and guess what? The thread fin shad. My favorite color. So this will get put to use. They're gonna probably be shallow this weekend. Been having a lot of rain. Uh, so that's, you know what that's doing to the, to the bank. Let's dig in here next. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna try to make this one quick. Just so we can see the quality baits. Now, th what time of year is it? This is a good time for, for worming. This is the Divine Shaky Worm and the Green Pumpkin Burst. Let's 
go ahead and break one out. Gotta break one out. I like how they come in the clamshell. Keeps them nice, straight, fresh, and bring it right out. The Divine Shaky Worm, uh, there's so many ways you can rig this. You can wacky rig it in the middle, uh, Texas rig it in the top, Ned rig it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Carolina rig, drop shot. Uh, I'm gonna be try throwing this particular worm this weekend, drop shot style. Uh, I'm gonna be fishing a lot of hydrilla. So we're gonna have to see how, where the fish are, whether they're shallow or suspended and deep but you can do this either way on a drop shot. This is a fantastic worm for that. I don't know if you can see the sparkles. They call it the green pumpkin burst because you got a little bit of these sparkles in them. This GoPro don't do it probably much justice, but I like these ribs all the way down, even into the tail, you know, because that holds water and air and bubbles uh, when you're working it through the water. So it gives it a little bit of different presentation sometime when you first throw it and it's sinking and get their attention but great natural color especially for when they're, they're bedding if they're if you're in their area they're they're already we've already got them spawning uh we got pre spawn post spawn we got a little bit of everything going on right now with this weather it's been so crazy so let's move right into the next one i don't want to pull that new i don't want to pull that new one out yet so i know i reached it oh yes oh man this this will definitely get thrown on this weekend this is the quake 80 but it's suspending uh you know i've got some quakes up there and i got a couple of suspendings but i don't have this color uh, this is the blue gilla and it gets its name fairly of course you got a, this the blue gill colors this almost i mean this lure looks hand painted way you've got that that royal blue kind of light royal blue on the front you got your 3d gills here then you got the the groove cut groove pattern square pattern down the sides to give it some glare uh, which you probably can see that in here and a good old orange breast of a brim and this is going to suspend so you can throw it up in some thick stuff and this, you know, if you feel that thick stuff and stop, let it suspend there a little bit, crank it a little bit, tears through grass and hydrilla pretty well uh, because it is a suspending. You can kind of throw it and if you feel it, let it float. Don't crank it down into it and gently bring it across the top of it. And it's got a good hard, hard knocker rattle. So that is the Quake 80 suspending in the blue gilla color. Awesome, awesome. All right, I'm, on. I'm not even gonna package them. I'm gonna move right along. I just wanna get to the, I mean, all these baits right now are printed. Every one of these will be tied on my deck tomorrow by uh, bass fishing. So, oh man, the Crush 75X. And look at this color, coming up on spring. <laughs> You know how the red and oranges are crawfish color, especially in my area. Uh, let's get into it here if I can get, I don't, I just tore my box up. This, it don't matter, I'm fixing to tie it on. About, about getting time for this color. But, and you know, if you've watched my channel, the Crush 75 Flat X is one of my favorite baits, especially in the thread fin shad. I'm gonna be completely honest, because that's what I am on this channel. I've never thrown this particular lure in this particular color. So it's gonna get tied on here as we start getting our warmer weather. Uh, of course, you know, we got a lot of, lot of rain lately, a lot of water coming into the lake. That could be stirring up some of these, the bait and that, that is colored to this, the crawfish. I don't know, we'll have to see. Might get thrown on the deck as well. I, I've got my new heater rod series in, so I've got some rods that can, everything can be tied on at the same time. So there it is one more time. The, uh, the official color is wild lava crawfish. And I think they nailed it on the color name. All right, let's move it along. I'll try to make this just a short video. Oh, I feel something in there a little different. I don't want to pull, I don't want to pull the new, uh, okay. All right, wait, 
All right, here we go. And I was just online, got my notification on some bullet weights. Uh, these are the Divine bullet weights. Just a good terminal tackle. Uh, these are lead worm weights. I normally use the tungsten. I haven't used this before. So here's another good thing about the six sack is you're gonna get premium quality lures and baits. You're gonna buy anyway. Terminal tackle, everything, but at a discounted price. I'll show that up here on the screen in a minute in a way you can save some money. Just hang tight. I'm gonna get through this and then show you how to save some bucks. Uh, this is the quarter ounce, what they call the raw, and the lead worm weight. So, you know, that's it's much bigger, the lead worm weight, than the tungsten in the quarter. So it might give it a little presentation on the front. I don't know, we'll have to see. Haven't used that. All right, so we're not through yet. I'm getting down. Oh, there's another, some type of hard bait. So and then I feel that one last new bait in there. So we'll get to that. Oh, okay. This is the mini 25. This is the crush mini 25 MD. Now it, this don't let this fool you. This bait dives four to seven feet. So when you got a little finicky bass suspended in deeper water, uh, this is a good one to throw. You can throw it on a spinning reel if you like spinning reels. Uh, I throw it on about a 10 pound fluorocarbon. Baitcaster throws it just fine. Uh, very small, I don't know if you can tell. You can look at my hand and tell. it. Very finessey, but it gets down deeper, four to seven. Most, most of your crankbaits that are small like this don't get that deep. So that's what I like about this one. It'll get on down there in their face if you can see, especially if you got your active target and you see that they're in that four to seven foot range and they're just not hitting anything else, throw this color. Now the water is stained where I'm fishing tomorrow. So I, you know, I'm almost a hundred percent everything that's in this super, well, it's not super called the super premium stuff. I'm almost a hundred percent everything in this six sack is going to be on my deck tomorrow because the water I've, I've heard with the lake I'm fishing Saturday is uh, murky. We've had so much rain and there's three creeks that feed it. So, uh, you know, this will be put to the test. That is the Crush Mini 25 MD. All right, so this is what I've been waiting on because I'm actually rigging up a spinning rod uh, for this. So, oh wait. Oh, hang on, there's one more. Look at there, look at there. What was I just talking about with the divine second worm? Drop shot hooks. It, you know, there we go, I'm ready. I wouldn't even need to take my tackle box or my tackle gear on the boat. I've got everything right here just tied on rods. So <laughs> that is the drop shot. Uh, it's the number one. So, you know, they give you the, like, pair things up that they know you're gonna need or use to make sure you'll be able to try your new bait. So, and you, you don't have to get out to the store and get nothing, you got it all. So, now, what we've been waiting on? Two things. I'm gonna show you how to save some money at the end of this, and let's reveal the new bait from Six Cents. And yes, so let's see what the new bait, I haven't laid my eyes on this personally. I have seen it unboxed on another video, just a spoiler alert. He gets it before I get mine. So anyway, here we go. Let's take it on out of the bag. You're gonna see it before I do. This is the new Glitch 3.8. It's a six cents exclusive color. Uh, this is a new color. Wow. Let's see, does it say the color? This is the Glitch 3.8. Now, remember those drop shot hooks? That's what this baby's gonna shine at. I saw uh, Dustin Connell just win, just last week, Dustin Connell won on a, a, some other bait that looked similar to this. Check that out. Six cents has come out. This will be great on a drop, drop shot, my drop shot rig. This will be tied on in the morning. I want you to look at that. It's the Glitch 3.8. It has like a, almost looks like a lizard head. 
and then a little tail on the end but it's got the glitter all the way down that's some type of a look at look at the gold in the bottom you know like it's like a green pumpkin burst but it's really not it's a darker green almost a lizard color so it's what it looks like here in south georgia these little lizards we have i mean with that that on a drop shot i i think that's gonna be the ticket they're out there suspended getting a little finicky look at that small profile bait I'll be putting it on about eight pound fluorocarbon leader with 10 pound braid on a spinning reel, throwing this with, uh, with probably like a quarter, quarter ounce uh, drop shot weight. Got some, a little drop shot weight like this, teardrops, what I like, pulls through the hydrilla real well. Uh, and put this up about, I don't know, probably 16 to 18 inches up from the weight on the fluorocarbon leader. That's going to be, mm, I'm fixing to rig this up. And speaking of rigging up, I'm going to be doing a video of all the new heater series rods, what I rigged them up with, what lines, what reels, what lures I'm using them for. So stay tuned for that. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you hadn't already. We would really appreciate it. And then also next to it, the notification bell. And you'll be notified when the next video does come out. And we'll go over those rods. I just want to try to show you the new stuff that's coming out. And remember in the beginning, I told you I was going to save you some money. All you've got to do is when you order, if the subscription is still available, uh, they're going to limit it so you have to go in there and they're going to limit the amount of people so that they can have the newer baits equally distributed to all us subscribers so make sure and go on there but how i can save you some money is when you subscribe there'll be a discount code placed in there all you got to do is in that discount code box put jr10 super six that's his discount code for the ten dollars off on the first subscription. So it'll go from 36 to 26, and there and thereafter 36. But save that original 10 bucks on that first one. If it's not what you want, and if you look and you don't think it's as quality as bait as I'm telling you, you can cancel. So, you know, get 60, 50 something dollars worth of lures for 26 bucks first go around. I guarantee you though, you will not unsubscribe because every month they roll in and it's like christmas time every month and now exclusively for us as subscribers we will be getting the new baits before they drop before anybody so if they get in enough to fill all the subscribers which they may add more subscribers as they're able to get more lures and baits but you know how things are right now so as they come in they will go back out to us subscribers. And then if they get any more or have any more, then they'll go to the website. But all us subscribers will be able to get the new drops, new bait lures, new colors, and gonna get all premium quality baits and terminal tackle every month coming to your doorstep. Save right now. Go ahead, subscribe right now, trust me. You, I've been doing it for two years and love everyone I get every month. There's, I use everything. So it, you won't go wrong, trust me. Uh, and save now with this code, JR10 Super 6. That'll save you $10 off your first order. So, and it helps old JR out. You know, he's doing this full time. I'm just a hobby guy. And it helps JR out to keep the keep the cameras rolling and the lights on and bringing us that great content that he's that he does uh, he's doing that full time and that's a lot of work so help him out go check out his channel if you hadn't i'll have a link below in the comment section so i hope you enjoyed a little bit of this information and like i said if you found it useful give us the thumbs up just hit the thumbs up i would really appreciate it the thumbs up lets youtube know you enjoyed watching the video or you found it useful so they might share it with someone else that might get some use out of it just trying to bring some knowledge to the viewers and the, the people that follow me so don't forget hit the like button i would really appreciate it that helps us out that helps youtube realize that you enjoyed watching the video and I hope you did. If you didn't, leave me a comment below. What do you want to see more of or what you didn't like? 
Leave a comment below which of these was your favorite lure. By liking the video, subscribing the video, and leaving a comment below, it helps us get our YouTube, it helps YouTube recognize us as, hey, some people like watching this guy. So they spread our video around a little bit and we might help some other folks. So like I said, give us a thumbs up if you've watched this far and you enjoyed it and you found it information useful. I'll be back with how we did on these on the water. And I hope to, if this time it don't rain, it rained all last weekend. I couldn't film a bit. Uh, I've got to make some adjustments on doing some waterproofing, but looks like we got good clean weather for this tournament this Saturday. So I'm going to try to film it. We're going to be fishing with all this. Every one of these you just saw will be on the deck and the new heater rods. And we'll talk about those, but hopefully we're too busy catching some good fish and getting a nice five bag limit. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, that, that one came all the way out. That's a good one. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. See that? Oh, that's a good one. Well, it felt oh, like yeah, a good oh, yeah. one. Bring that back. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we got a pattern going.